friends, welcome to our mathematics program for grade 7. This is our fifth program on angles. Today, we are going to have a look at the meaning of vertically opposite angles, corresponding angles, co-interior angles, and alternate angles. Finally, we are going to end this program with some exercises for you to practice. Let's do a small activity to find out what are vertically opposite angles. In this figure, we see two intersecting lines with four angles formed. We are going to measure each angle. Now, don't forget that this angle is open from the left and the vertex is here. We are going to place the center at the vertex and measure the angle. Up to the arm here, we notice that it is 60 degrees. Now, A is equal to 60 degrees. Now, this is a straight angle. If this is 60 degrees, this should be 120 degrees. If you want to verify, you again place the center on the vertex and measure. From the right, you will see that it is 120 degrees. B is equal to 120. 20 degrees. Now you can turn your protractor and measure the angle C. Again, you place it at the center. Measure the angle C. It is C is equal to 60 degrees and D will be equal to 120 degrees. How do we get 120 degrees? You can either Measure it, or 180 minus 60, you will get 120 degrees. Now, let's see what do we find out. You will notice that angle A is 60 degrees. Angle C is also 60 degrees. Angle A, we can conclude that angle A is equal to angle C. And then we notice that B is 120 degrees, D is 120 degrees. We have B is equal to D. Now, A and C are called vertically opposite angle. Similarly, B and D are called vertically opposite angle. So we conclude that vertically opposite angle are equal. So we conclude A is equal to C, vertically opposite angles, B is equal to D, also vertically opposite angles. Let's look at this simple example. We see two intersecting lines. We are going to calculate the size of angle AOX. Since angles YOB and AOX are vertically opposite angles. Angle AOX will be 105 degrees. Let's have one more example where three lines are intersecting. We are going to find the size of angle X. Now in this figure, angle X... This missing angle and angle 80 form a straight angle which is equal to 180 degrees. If we apply vertically opposite angles, this missing part will be equal to 30 degrees. So, the value of X will be 180 degrees minus 80 degrees plus 30 degrees. And the value of x will be equal to 70 degrees. Let's learn about corresponding angles. We have two parallel lines and a transversal. At each point of intersection, there are four angles that are formed. We are going to measure each angle. We take our protractor, place it Place the center on the vertex, from the right-hand side, up to this arm, 
it is 60 degrees. Now, here it will be 120 degrees. If we apply our vertically opposite angle, here it will be 60 degrees and 120 degrees. We measure this side now. Place the center on the vertex and measure 60 degrees. 120 degrees, 60 degrees, 120 degrees. Now let's have a look. What can we conclude? We see that the angle A is 60 degrees and the angle E is 60 degrees. The angle between the transversal and the parallel line here also it is on the same side of the transversal and the parallel side, they are equal. Therefore, we conclude that A is equal to E. Here also, B is equal to 120, F is equal to 120 degrees. Again, on the same position as the parallel and the transversal, the parallel and the transversal, B is equal to F, C is equal to G, and D is equal to H. Now, corresponding angles are equal. Now we are going to learn about co-interior angles. We are going to copy this diagram on the next sheet and see what do we find out. We had 60 degrees, 120 degrees, 60 degrees, 120 degrees, 60 degrees, 120, 60, 120. We are going to learn about co-interior angles. Now, let's have a look. What is the sum of these two? D plus E is equal to 120 plus 60, which gives us 180 degrees. We notice that D plus E is equal to 120 degrees plus 60 degrees gives us 180 degrees. Therefore, D and E, the co-interior angles, is equal to 180 degrees. We can also say that co-interior angles are supplementary angles. We can also verify if it applies on the other side, C plus F. 60 degrees plus 120 degrees, again it gives us 180 degrees, which are called supplementary angles. Therefore, co-interior angles are supplementary angles, which is equal to 180 degrees. Let's have a look at this example. We need to write down the size of angle X. If we study the diagram, 72 degrees and x degrees are co-interior angle. Therefore, the sum will be 180 degrees. To calculate the value of x, we need to do 180 degrees minus 72 degrees, which is equal to 108 degrees. Now, let's have a look at alternate angles. Again, we are going to reproduce the angle that we have here to see what else we can find out. 60, 120, 60, 120, 60, 120, 60, 120. Now we are going to look for the a Z shape on the diagram. Now, these are called alternate angles. And you will notice that alternate angles are equal. 
Now, the Z shape, these are two parallel lines and this is the transversal, alternate angles which are equal. Therefore, C is equal to E, alternate angles. We have also a reverse Z shape which again you will see that they are equal angles F 120 D 120 we see that D is equal to F alternate angles which are equal let's have a look at this example don't forget to take a moment to study your diagram we see two parallel lines transversal line and alternate angles. We have just learned that alternate angles are equal, therefore x is equal to 43 degrees. Now we need to calculate the value of A and B. This is an unusual diagram. We see parallel lines and two more lines. These two are not transversal, as they do not cross the parallel line. So how are we going to solve this question? First, we draw a line parallel to the two given parallel lines. Note that this line does not divide either angle A or angle B into two equal parts. Alternate angles are formed. So, the value of A will be the sum of 27 degrees plus 56 degrees, which will give us 83 degrees. Now, to calculate the value of B. Notice that B, 27 degrees, 56 degrees, these angles form 360 degrees. Therefore, the value of B will be 360 degrees minus 27 degrees plus 56 degrees, which is going to give us 277 degrees. The following are exercises for you to practice. You can always download these worksheets on the link appearing on the screen. Now this is a fun activity for you. To succeed, you need to find the value of each angle along the path. Today, we have learned about vertically opposite angles, corresponding angles, co-interior angles and alternate angles. Since this is our last program on angles, you have a series of exercises for you to practice, which covers the whole of the chapter. These are some links that you can visit to learn more about angles. Friends, we have reached the end of our program. Till next time, it's goodbye.